Since the aim for happiness is part of our thoughts at the summer school, I came to think of a hike that I did about a month ago. Quite important about how this came to happen is probably that my girlfriend and I didn't intend to hike at all and therefore were completely unprepared. The setting started at Dorfkastein, which is located in the countryside of Salzburg. My girlfriend and I stayed at the farm for a weekend to calm down from a lot of stress and work. We were enjoying the company of animals and are interested to learn about their behaviors and social relations, so we asked the farmer if he could get us up to the Alps to see his cows the next day. On this next day, the father of the farmer would drive us up to the mountains, but there was probably a mistake between the communication of the son and the father, so he thought we wanted to be brought up as far and as high as possible to hike straight back again. So, as I mentioned before, we weren't prepared for that at all. Dressed in jeans, having sport shoes on, carrying an umbrella and having nothing to eat or drink with us. But we decided not to say a thing and just trying to go for it. Maybe I should add at this point that the farmer had his thoughts about us too. He repeatedly stated that we should call him in case of emergency, since we probably won't make it down again in our Viennese clothing, as he said. Well, of course the so-called Viennese clothing didn't stand what nature was throwing at us. I lost my first soul within the first hour and the second one about two hours later. Side note, the umbrella broke too. I guess it wasn't intended to be used as a walking stick. So when I thought about that afterwards, it came to my mind that by the use of technology and the digital world, we are used to bring things in a certain order before they even start and for them or try to force them the way we want them to be. But in the real world we get frustrated a lot because things are far too complex to be played in detail and stay the way we want them to be. So I guess adapting to changes and trying to make the best out for oneself is a way to produce happiness.